Hey guys, welcome back to Raising the Rogers Homestead. Today I wanted to show you guys my cheap chicken hanging feeder that we use for our meat chickens. Let's get into it. All right guys, all you're gonna need for this project is two fencing boards. These are cedar fencing boards from Lowe's. They're less than $2 a piece. Couple pieces of spare metal. A few nails hammer and a drill with a drill bit it really doesn't matter what size all right guys so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your boards together kind of like this just mash them together on both sides kind of making a v-shape and then we're going to put some nails in it cheap roofing nails Put one at each end so that it'll hold it together. It won't fall apart while you're working with it. Nail come out the back right there. Chickens don't care, I promise. All right, we're just gonna put a few more in there. Just to hold it together. this make a little V shape all right step two all right for these end pieces I've already got a, a little template cut out but this is just some spare tin that I had so this is what I do with them I will set them here on this I'll take my tin snips and I'll just go Right along here. Try to line this up the best that I can. Get that sharp corner off of it. And that'll be close enough. And then we'll put that on the end. All right, these templates we cut out, we're gonna go ahead and put them on. One side will be longer than the other just because of how the boards go together. Fit that on the corner you best you can. Again, the chickens won't care, I promise. I like to line up one side of it, and if it's crooked, you can always manipulate these boards back and forth. They're real flexible. So here we go, we're gonna put same nails just in the, in the end of it to hold this metal on so the feed doesn't fall out. Obviously not perfect, but we'll hold feet. And we're gonna do the other side. All right, guys, got the second side on. This is kind of what it looks like. It's six foot long. Step three, we're gonna take our drill and we're just gonna knock two holes in it. One here and one here. Step four, we're gonna put some string on this so we can hang it up. All right guys, that's it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go hang these up in the coop. 
put some feed in them, show you how they work. Guys, you can build this for less than $10. If you look at other feeders that are six foot long that hold this much feed, they're astronomical, 70, 80, 90, $100. This is super, super simple, guys, super simple. And it's really, really cheap. All right, guys, right now we're out here where the meat chicken coop is. Right now I've got a group of layers in it, so this will be a good test to see how they like their new feeder. They seem to be enjoying it all right. They're even jumping up in there and it's not tipping over. So I'm super happy with that. Uh, also, whenever you are running meat chickens, uh, the meat chickens won't be able to jump all the way up in there. So also it'll probably have to be set a little bit lower for them, but that's no big deal. I can always lower it down or raise it up or anything like that. Like I said, guys, this is a super, super cheap uh, chicken feeder. Instead of spending umpteen dollars on something else that doesn't hold as much feed or isn't big enough for a lot of birds this is a super cheap super simple solution to that i appreciate you guys stopping by the homestead today like always subscribe to our channel please we're still growing this thing and we're making some great progress we appreciate you guys stopping by and until then we'll see you on the next one thanks